Hey everyone, welcome back to Bird Feed. In today's video, instead of unboxing an Operation Christmas Child shoebox gift, I'm going to be packing one up. It has a theme, PJ masks, and it's for a two to four year old boy. Now, originally I wasn't going to share this one on YouTube because I don't know why, because it doesn't take a lot of creativity to pack a licensed character theme. You just buy the licensed character stuff and you put it in a box, right? Well, sort of, but not exactly. It takes some thought. I don't wanna just collect any old thing willy-nilly just because it's on clearance or just because it fits the theme. I wanna collect items that complement one another and create a fun and interesting gift, which is what I've tried to do here. And it all fit perfectly in this seven by 12 box, which is the same size as an OCC cardboard go box, which I know a lot of you all use. So I decided to pack this one up on camera. It had a lot of writing on the inside of the lid. So I covered it as I often do with some clip art that I found online. This is PJ Masks. We're going to start packing this up um, with the flatter items first. So I'm going to put in this instructions for his sidewalk chalk game. I found this sidewalk PJ Masks sidewalk chalk on clearance at Walmart Easter before last. As you can see, it was shaped in an egg and I wanted to pack it intact because it has instructions for hopscotch, tic-tac-toe, four square, and target toss, and it also tells him how to use the chalk holders. But I wasn't able to do that, so I tore the chalk and bean bags, it comes with these cute little bean bags, off the front, which then proceeded to tear up the front. <laughs> So I put this same clip art that I put in his box on the front cover and I laminated it. Now, unfortunately, I did mean to mark out the price, but I forgot. I forgot and I had already laminated it, so oh well. So this is going to go in the bottom of the box. And this is going to go in later. This is the chalk in the holders and the two cute little bean bags. So I put it inside a little plastic bag. This one happens to be from Easter because I don't want the chalk to, you know, the chalk dust to get on anything. So we'll pack this one a little bit later. Then I'm going to put his puzzle in there. This is a 48 piece PJ Masks puzzle that I got from the Dollar Tree. It's already out of the box. I just constructed the box so you could see it. So I'm gonna deconstruct the box and fold it flat. And yeah, a two to four year old can do a 48 piece puzzle. I mean, normally, I buy around 24 pieces, anywhere between, I don't know, 16 to 24 is, is what I strive for. But I know they can do the 48 piece puzzles, particularly like a three or four year old, because I know my grandchildren did them at, at that age. You know, they had help at first and then they were able to do them by, by themselves. So 48 pieces I think is okay for this age. And the next thing that's flat is his book. I know and have heard that many of the children who receive these OCC boxes do recognize many of the licensed characters and they really get excited when they receive them. But even if they don't, the, the, the toys are fantastic as they are. They don't need to know who they are. But when I can find a book that has a story or introduces the characters, I do like to include it just in case they don't know or to refresh their memory. It has some just great pictures of all the characters in here. So we'll put that in next. 
So this is what we look like so far with just all the flat items in the box. Next, I'm going to put in his hygiene kit. It's a comb, toothbrush, and uh, I think there's about a half dozen uh, Thomas and Friends band-aids in there. And that fits nicely, you know, right in that little spot. His coloring book and notebook are flat, but they're too wide to fit in the bottom of the box, so we'll tuck them down the back a little bit later. But his pencil pouch is flat. Typically in a two to four pencil pouch, I include six pencils, about two or three different colored markers, a big eraser, a pair of round uh, tip scissors, and uh, typically the pencil sharpener is not in the pouch. This is because it's an enclosed pencil sharpener oftentimes. So that way he's got a, a nice assortment of school supplies, but it still lays nice and flat. So that's going to go in here next. Next, I'm going to put in his clothing. Now, uh, his clothing is not PJ Masks. I didn't even hunt for anything PJ Masks. I decided to use what I had in my stash for him because I had some great shorts and a fantastic shirt. The shorts are these nice weight cargo shorts with Velcro flap pockets, elastic and drawstring waist. He's got pockets up here as well. It's a 5T. Those are in this dark charcoal gray that I got on clearance at Walmart for a dollar. And I'm pairing it with this great shirt. It's a plain t-shirt that I got at the Dollar Tree. It's the Gildan Brand oops, Performance Fabric. I love this fabric. It just, I wish you could feel it, it feels great. And this is in a Youth Extra Small, which is like a size four or five. And I love this red color. It's a dark red, which is the color of Owlette, who is one of the PJ Masks figures. That's Owlette. There's Catboy and Gecko. Next, I want to show you his bandana, which is dark gray, probably not what you would expect to go into a two to four year old shoe box, but it matches his outfit perfectly and I think it looks really nice with it. The bandana was a contribution from Denise L. She sent an assortment of different colored bandanas and actually this one was the best color to go with his outfit. So he's getting dark gray and that's gonna go in next and on top of that, I think I'll put his t-shirt, I'll put it right there. Now, I'm not gonna put his shorts in quite yet. I'm gonna add his socks. He's got two pairs of socks, Ryan's World in kind of a light heather gray color, and a pair of black ones. And those are gonna go right next to his t-shirt. And he's got a couple of pairs of PJ Masks underwear that have the characters on them. They're so cute. I got these on clearance from Walmart a very long time ago. And those have PJ Masks characters on them as well. Okay, I'm gonna move this closer to me because I'm kind of reaching there. And so that's what we look like so far. Okay, I think I'll put his shorts in now. Next, I'm going to put in, let's put in his tote bag. It's one of those tote bags that folds into itself. It's navy with gecko green stars. And I got this on Shein. You can also get them on Tamu. I've seen them both places. So once I put that there, it's created this little pocket. So in that pocket, I'm going to put his enclosed pencil sharpener right there and these figures. I got four P. 
PJ Masks figures from the Dollar Tree. They've got so many PJ Masks items. So we have Catboy. Uh, this is Romeo. Gecko is standing on his head, and this is Owlette in the red. So we're going to put Romeo, is kind of the tallest with that big hair. We'll stick him there. Catboy, Gecko, and let's see if Owlette will fit right here. So that's where we are. Uh, next I'm going to show you his sunglasses. And these were the deal of the century. This pair of UV protection kids sunglasses with the little case was three cents from Walmart. When Walmart marks their items out of stock or to salvage, they, they mark them to three cents. That's their number. And I think they're not supposed to be on the floor. They're supposed to be removed from the floor at that point in time. But if you're lucky, sometimes you can find them. And I found this pair. And I also found some without the glasses, just the cases. But even the cases for three cents are, are worth it. But this one came with the sunglasses. And that's going to go right there. Next we're going to put in his chalk and bean bags game that I put in the plastic bag and that'll just go right there. Then I think we'll add his cat boy toy. Isn't that great? I picked this up on Amazon on a lightning deal, is that what they're called? For $2.99 last October and it's a great wow toy. It's a nice size, but not too big that you can't fit it in a shoebox. It has wheels on the bottom. And Catboy comes out. And we'll have to take him out in order to pack him. But that's going to go right here. And then Catboy, whose arms and legs move, and his tail moves too. Is his head? Yeah, his head moves too. That can go right there on top of the sunglasses. So he doesn't want to stay, stay there right now, but that's what it looks like so far. Next I'll put in his maracas. I got these on clearance at Walmart after Christmas last year, 90% off. So they were 19 cents each. And in the past, I've only put one maraca in a shoebox just for space reasons, but I have two, and I can fit two, and two maracas are definitely better than one. So he's got two maracas that are gonna go right like so. Then I think we can fit in Gecko. I got Gecko at CVS on clearance. I don't even know when, probably the beginning of this year. And I got um, several of the characters, but I, I'm including Gecko because I do want to give him an assortment of different figures. He's got Catboy here in the vehicle, and uh, I, I love this green. So we're going to give him Gecko next, right there. Then I think his coloring book which is PJ Masks. I got this at the Dollar Tree. We can slip that down the back. I might have, might should have done this a little bit earlier. No, it slips down nicely. And uh, he also has PJ Masks crayons. I, I also got these at the Dollar Tree. I don't often buy the character crayons, not because I don't like them, just because I can usually get crayons, and I do have crayons in my stash that I have purchased much, much cheaper, but I don't know. These were just calling to me. 10 jumbo crayons, so he's got PJ Masks crayons too. I'm gonna slip that down the side here if I can get Romeo's head out of the way. There we go. Okay, so next, we will pack a little plain paper notebook that I put PJ Masks stickers on the front of, and I gave it to him in Catboy Blue. 
it's just plain paper so he can doodle and draw. And the stickers I got on Timu, a pack of 50 skateboard stickers for in inexpensive, I don't know, a dollar, I don't know, $50, $1.49, $1.25, something like that. I used a couple of them on this book. And a few of them on his composition notebook that I gave him in gecko green. And that's going to go down in front here. Down in front. Okay, there we go. So everything is still fitting nicely. We're almost done. Then his puzzle. Remember, we packed the puzzle box on the bottom. The puzzle, I'm kind of going to divide in half. Half the pieces here and half the pieces here. Kind of long ways. Because I've got a space here where the chalk makes it higher than the little bean bags. So this way it can sit in there like so. And... He has a cute ball, Jesus Loves Me, which was recently given to me by Val from V. Swain's Shoebox Sundays. She gave me several of these for my stash, and it's perfect for this shoebox. So let's see if we can fit it down here. Level, yeah, it fits level. And then here are his stickers that I got on Timu. They are great, great stickers, all sorts of different PJ masks, character stickers, very cute. I'm giving him the entire package. And those will fit almost anywhere. We're just going to stick them right down there. And the last thing to go into his box is a Christmas card that I've given him with my note and photo inside. And that will go down the side here. Well, there we have it. That's what this little boy will see when he opens his box. And it closes nicely. His, the label, two to four boys on top. And I'll stick on a couple of rubber bands. And it fits nice and flat. So I hope you enjoyed this one and got some ideas and inspiration for packing your shoe boxes this year. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment if you'd like and subscribe if you're not already. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye now.